Welcome back! This is John Proctor on channel John West having an XCOM Enemy Unknown adventure and I have Mouton problems right now. But if I headshot this guy, perhaps I'll have less. So let's see! Nope. Well, that was frustrating. <laughs> Do I rocket my own men? That seems like a foolish idea. But I can walk him into a better position. Should be able to see from there, hopefully. Otherwise, a well-placed grenade will at least move him out of the way of my team. So, let's do that. Good, good, good. 58%. Come on. Damn. Well, this is bad. 7 damage, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't risk it. She's gonna get punched in the face. Can't walk. Oh damn! Should have placed that well placed grenade. I still have Wahlberg. I won't replace him. Hmm. Did he get up there? Not through there. Um, he was going to climb up those stairs. Can you really see from there? Perhaps. can also double run. So, with a double run, he can get there. Shoot him. Might I be able to double run and shoot him, though? Or at least double run and get a much better place. I'll give it a go. Nope, you can only see him. Ugh. All right, so I've got this to worry about. I'm trying to stun him, but And this. Seven damage. And she's so ridiculously close. She has to shoot. Because she can't do anything else anyway. And nobody else can kill him. But that means two turns in a row. For him getting that punch. Oh dear. I don't want to lose Buffy. Does eight? Oh, what am I gonna do? Well, either okay. Here's the options. Either 
She doesn't shoot, and he runs towards a random person and hits for 15 damage or instant death someone. Okay? 15 damage. Just does kill her. Which is a spare sniper. But shouldn't kill her. And shouldn't kill him. She has full wherever they're stood. She has full cover. Or I shoot him right now, potentially bring him down to one health, or none, just, you know, there might be a random extra for some reason. Or I miss, nothing happens. Or he gets left with one health and he runs, punches, and then gets another turn. Where, if he gets a punch and a movement, that could kill her. The safe option would be not to shoot, and he only gets a punch, but I don't know if his punch does extra. Let me see. Let's look at more info. So, chance to crit is 30%. Hmm. He's got Bull Rush and, and Bloodlust. Through cover. I'm gonna shoot. Screw it. Come on. Crit. Oh dear. Okay, well, that worked out much better than I expected, or much worse. had his turn. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I survived. Let's see if I can stun him. Do I go there and risk the chance that the stun doesn't go around the corner? Screw it. Seventy percent chance. Ninety nine. Yes. Tell the doc we're bringing home a live one. Somebody else has to shoot it. Okay. Good sign. X-ray down. Chuck up another one. Wonderful. Is anyone injured? Got two lives. Whew. That was scary. But we survived, everyone. We did it together. Sort of. Sort of. No aliens allowed, no ships. Well done. Commander. Everyone's back safe. It's always good for morale when everyone makes it home safe. Indeed it is. Plasma Another pistol. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make yeah. it worth the trouble. Plasma pistol, plasma rifle, alien grenade. Ooh. I don't even know about alien grenades. And now I've got a new support. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. Uh, are we so what are we can researching? Um, EMP cannon two days. Okay, that's Scilab. This is going to be interesting. Scilab is. There 
it is. We can now submit our soldiers for testing within the Psy Lab. Once we have a complete report, I'll notify you with the results. Our current research implies a strong link between a candidate's willpower and their psionic potential. I need to know if it takes them out of combat. We're hoping that one or more of our existing soldiers will meet the necessary requirements. So... I can't put a wounded one in. Let's test it with Buffy. Ten days. Does that mean she cannot be in the thing? So let's check out Barracks. She's in the site on it. Okay, so I don't want to take too many people out. Let's test Anne Hathaway. And Colin Murray. I will change his name. Hopefully, possibly, maybe. And let's speed through, see what happens. Okay. In developing an electromagnetic weapon capable of emitting a focus pulse that will penetrate the alien's advanced shielding, we've also had to find a means to protect our own ship-sensitive electronic circuitry. The functionality of the weapon itself has already been well established by previous testing conducted by Earth's various terrestrial military forces, leaving us with little to determine outside the energy requirements and effective range. Although the additional shielding required to protect our systems will necessitate a reconfiguration of our ship's hard points for the weapon's mount, I expect the engineering team will have no trouble fitting the device into position. I, if our pilots can successfully deploy a pulse against an alien craft, we should be able to bring down a UFO with a minimal damage to the artifacts and equipment carried inside. Okay. Amber cannon. And yeah, Amber cannon. Let's take the sectoid. Our interrogation of the small alien captive was a learning experience for all parties involved. Although traditionally an interrogation would imply a discussion of sorts, perhaps under coercion, that possibility was out of the question given the unique circumstances. We were instead forced to undertake a more aggressive approach, namely through a series of invasive cranial probes intended into the subject's prefrontal cortex. By interpreting the captive's response to various stimuli, we were able to discern a great deal of information, more so than I had originally anticipated. Uh, although it seems to have little understanding of various modifications it's been subjected to at some point in the past, we did garner some information relating to the alien, alien's mini miniaturized implants and power cells used in their weaponry. We've begun, already begun analysing this data for possible incorporation into future advanced weaponry prototypes, including several power intensive beam weapons. Okay, so beam weapons research credit earned. I should already have that, but see, this way I should have done that ages ago, but. Never mind. We live and learn. Well, apart from Stephen Dorf. <laughs> I love how he punched it. No. Okay. <gasps> oh, a new ship. Glow bits. Can you walk in and out of the glow bits, eh? Yeah, no more being scared of those UFOs. I think we just leveled the playing field. Was in like, bought it, destroyed everything, and leveled it. Oh. And yeah, sign new projects. We've done some big things here, but I have to admit. 
My team and I are most proud of the work we put into the Firestorm. Okay. Commander, we've suffered a number of casualties Demon and one. haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we have plenty. Okay, he's our, su our new support. Abilities. Smoke grenade. Uh, I think I'm going to make him a sprinter. Yes. Yes. Hmm. I like the suppression, I think. Might as well test that out. And he's going to need a name. Let's have a look at the list, shall we? Um, let's see. Harrison Ford. At least I've got a nickname for this one. Solo. Yeah. He is support, so that makes him white. Let's see if I can get a better white. And I'm gonna give him a helmet because I can't be bothered to ever do people anymore. He's in the main team. And then we'll see about weapon rate stuff. Eight days. Um, satellite dump link is interesting as well. Any research? I don't think I've got any more research. On first impressions, the Captain Mouton would appear to be among the least intelligent of any of the alien species we've encountered. Hulking and brutish in form, we've surprised to discover a great deal of knowledge has been ingrained in the subject's memory. We realised during the interrogation programme that it was only logical for the aliens to provide the Mouton with complete understanding of the weapons and tactics. This beast represents the most formidable front-line combatant. Although the Mouton was quite resistant to our techniques, despite heavy dissertation, we'd learned a great deal from the Captain about the alien weaponry, in particular their advanced plasma-based arm armaments. The research team will begin analysing the data for possible use in a new breed of weapons of our own design. So, plasma weaponry. Has that actually given me anything really useful? Or was it just that allowed me to have those three? I think it cuts it down or something? Well, anyway, I can't, I clearly need a UFO to start doing that. And I've got no resources at all. Parasite. Ah, oh, very difficult. But Christian Slater's is back. Let's send the Sky Ranger. Okay. Do I definitely want? I need to know. Oh, I need abilities. So, oh, she's a major. Yeah, I definitely want her. Majors and colonels. Um, so, snipe, assault, sniper, sniper. Oh. She's now going to be in yellow. Let's edit unit. He can now have another plasma rifle, which is cool. Wearing the other Titan armor. Damn it. No. 
know what I meant. No, he's not in it. Okay. We need... Surely we want the, the um, these three. Um, one of those two. Okay. We have... Yeah, take out the whole probably one. So we have an assault, sniper, heavy sport, and another heavy sport. Does that make sense? So my load out Titan armor light plasma is going to be better than what I've got do I want that or that I don't know how strong it is but I'll give that one a go And he needs Titan Armor. Who the hell's wearing my Titan Armor? Uh, it's got to be Buffy. So, Barracks. Six days. Um, Interesting. So, not you, you. No, I've only got one. Since I only have one, you should probably have just normal grenades. this Titan armor and what is she is she's an assault I think I'm gonna have the laser rifle actually sniper it gets the scope oh who did I put in I was gonna change it all around it's annoying This is a lot of faff. Okay. He is not time in time to yeah, it's not in time armor. Who the hell's got my Titan armor? Did I put it on someone? How do I know? Sorry about this. Okay, barracks, new soldiers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mark Wahlberg. So, if he's not in there, he's not having that gun. Check something out really quickly. I just click on one. Uh, 26. Okay. Okay. So my assault. I didn't do that. Cost my 
was is now 26, 27? 26. Um, so snipers have sniping. The support can have And just the one sniper. So he needs a pistol. And I should just buy another one. Okay. The ones in the right colours. Green, green, black, yellow, yellow, white, white. Okay, that's the launch mission. What have I forgotten? Okay, god damn it. It's my other assault. It's it's Mark Wahlberg. I feel bad, you do a really good job. But damn it, this is really long winded. There we go. That took a long time, I know. Strike one. Prepare for landing. The next deployment site is in the yeah, UK. Yeah. That's where I live. We've gotten reports of alien activity oh, it's a terror site. in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one Dust the aliens. Light. They've They're put the cars on the wrong side of the road. Ah. Uh. Okay. Drago. ET in sight. Engage it. Oh! It's a quick start. Far away. Forty five, sixty one. Let's kill this before he even gets a chance to do anything. Oh, I'm running a little See it. Okay. None of us can see it. What the hell? That was a really unlucky start. Should have moved him back. That's what I should have done. But if one person shoots it, we will be able to see it. So can anyone see it? Alien grenade. Interesting. But whoever goes out, whoever's got the least. Is he not in the armor? Oh, what am I doing? Slater's my uh, patsy, as it were. So he's gonna have to. Oh, I could just throw a grenade. And if I move, I can, I can move anywhere I like and throw a grenade, so. Let's go there.
Now I have to be very careful with this. Like so. Eat this. I need to free damage, but he should move. There, that's not a bad position. Then I can move like snipes can go here. Shoot him up. How much damage will an alien grenade do? Five damage. His gun's likely to do more. But seventy, it's worth a try. Ooh, it's nice. Snipers, we have two. No, we only have one. I wonder. It would be completely out of cover and possibly incredibly foolish. But I am an out of cover, completely foolish person. We all know. Berserker. And she's out of cover, so Ford, when it gets the chance, will put cover over all of us. Bane needs No, 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 no. I've made that mistake before. I know that's four people around saying that's one grenade worth of death. Uh, you don't have much choice in the first turn. I think the smoke grenade's more important. This my grenade has special properties. It's her that's the issue. Let's turn the camera. Is the guy at the back? Does I even get her? It's free. What the hell's that? That's a human. Is that oh, that's a human. <laughs> oh, another elite. Come on. Come on. Ooh, at least they're distracted by humans. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but seriously, at least they're distracted. Look sharp, enemies rolling up. <laughs> Look sharp, they're running away from us. Uh, I'll have a long video. No, I'm gonna leave us here. I'm, the video's getting really long at the moment because I'm. I'm John Fox. I'm John John of us having an uh, XCOM. Here we have an adventure and things are blowing up on me. 